My name is Ian and welcome to my gardening channel Planted on YouTube. In this video I'm going to talk to you about preparing plants to withstand severe cold. We've got a cold snap coming up with some incredibly cold temperatures which I'll share with you in a moment and it's at this time in February and January where you're very happy to have your layers of uh, insulating leaves already applied so that that ground is not frozen. I want to talk to you in particular about this Edgeworthia. It's borderline. If it was not in this case, covered with leaves, it would die. More about that in just a moment. The temperature this morning when I woke up was minus six degrees Fahrenheit. And if we turn that into centigrade, minus 21. So this is incredibly cold. And it's that climate where people will boil water, stick it in a cup, chuck it up in the air, and you see how it completely freezes. I need you to have some backstory about the extremes of weather. And this is why it's important for you to know the zone that you are growing your plants in so that you choose plants appropriately. The line that is horizontal represents zero degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And typically at this time of the year in January and February, we bounce along this 32 degree mark. Sometimes it's a bit warmer. Typically it's a bit colder at night. This is what we've got to look forward, a very sharp and severe drop, not getting above freezing, and then a very another cold day immediately after it. So we've got 36 to 40 hours of supreme cold. And what I'm drawing right now, this is the death zone. You can expect plants to die because this is just so frigid. My Edgeworthia is very choice, it's very special. If it was not in this, um, container I made filled with leaves, it would absolutely die. And this is a really good example. This plant flowers in the springtime and it set flowers the end of last year that are carried through the winter. This strong, heavy cold snap would freeze those flowers and they would not live. So if ever you've got a plant that one year doesn't flower in the springtime, chances are it got zapped by frost and that's what killed all the flowers. So my job is to try and improve the chances of this plant to survive. Now, even though I'm going to add some more layers and I'm going to wrap it up, it's quite likely that it will get too cold in there, the flowers will be lost, some of the stems will die back. But I would be really surprised if the whole plant dies. The crown would be alive and it would set out new shoots. But by adding layers, reducing desiccation, that is the effect of wind to suck out moisture from the stems. It could be that this plant has got enough protection so that it comes through this cold snap and uh, we'll have those buds in flower for us. Well, next month they typically start to flower in March and into April. So I'm adding more layers to reduce the effect of the cold wind. And the plant is not frozen now, it's wrapped in leaves, it's got layers over it. It'll be a fun time to see if it survives. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And of course I'll do a follow-up video on this in the springtime. It's very scary when you fill your greenhouse with lots of precious plants. And I encourage you to make sure that any vent you have closes properly. You don't want this cold snap to come only for the vent to be stuck open, even a small amount, and all the heat escape out of the greenhouse and it go very, very cold and uh, it cannot then support life. I check all my sockets to make sure it's properly connected and I can even see that my lamp is on. Fingers crossed we'll get through this. Thank you so much. Keep warm. Spring is around the corner. 